Good morning, my friends in Christ. I pray the joy of Easter is still with you and your family. This morning's reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 16 to 21, is such a favorite of mine. It is both comforting and challenging. It starts out the way I envision God. In verse 16, we hear, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. This tells me that God takes the initiative with us. He sees that we have sinned and turned against him, but he does not give up on us. He sends his help, his son. Like the father of the prodigal son, he reaches out to us because he wants us to have a good life in this life and eternally. Notice it also starts out with, he so loved the world. This love, this helping hand is for everyone. This is the comforting part. The remainder of today's reading is about our choice. Do we accept his help, his grace? Or do we prefer what John calls the darkness and wicked things? It is too easy for us to say, of course we want his help. So I ask myself at every moment of my life, and I challenge you to do the same, with every temptation and life decision, do I act, do I decide as if God was standing right next to me? Do I look to him for answers? Do I choose his path? Or do I justify a moment of pleasure over what he would want me to do, what he would want us to do? This second part is a challenging part for all of us of doing the right thing as if God were right there. Tonight at 6.30 in our church, I will be discussing just this topic on how prayer can help us with this challenging part. Please consider joining us in person or via live stream on Facebook or YouTube. However, if you choose life, may you experience the joy of God's life, the joy of God's gift. And we'll close with the last statement from, from St. John. But whoever lives in the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. And may God bless all of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.